Dear Journal, last time, everyone on my team just evolved. Yay! This made it easier for me to get the next gym badge. Easy as taking a candy from a little child. Well, she was a child, so... Lucas. Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Plantum. Uh, last time we got the gym and a lot of my Pokemon evolved. Now we're just gonna... Uh, Explore the city. Um, here is the Game Corner Price Exchange Program. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any coins, but they have a bunch of... Oh, yeah, Hidden Power. They let you see who has Hidden Powers. Or basically, what what is your, your Pokemon's Hidden Power type. So, let's say, for example, I actually decided to change my Rotom into Maul for the upcoming gym battle so yeah you see out of all the pokemon yeah rotom is the only one that's gonna be utilizing uh hitting power well because he's a special attacker every one of uh, my other pokemon are physical attackers that's until i get my next pokemon psychic so if he were to learn hitting power it would be a psychic type hmm yeah, it could be good. Now here is something you're never gonna see ever again. Probably not in the remake because they're gonna get rid of it. This is the game corner, where we use coins and we gamble. I'm gonna use your coin case. I think the young man next door has one. Let's uh, go ahead next door. Not this next door. They mean next door right here next door. Which oh, that's so long. And you think that maybe say 5% are extra psychic? Yeah, it's just coin. Spin, 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 spin. Now, which hand is the coin? Give me the right. Ah, uh, fine. Right. A 50 50 chance. Give me that coin case. So, basically, what a coin case does is. Actually, I don't think about it. <laughs> Being I'm but a tier 4 clown, clown, though I smile, I cried inside. That's literally my life. I can sympathize with the clown. I smile a lot, but I cry inside. I'm always crying even now. Anyways, I've been winning tons of here. Take some coins. Give me 20 coins. Always big people for money. So just talking to these people will give you the coins as soon as you have the coin case. Uh, tells you what you need to do. Um, basically what it is that these are slot machines. Basically, so I'm going to show you what these games are. Because like I said, I don't think they're going to happen to me the artist. Yeah, okay, so we met the father of the gym leader. So basically, okay. So because of, if I, okay, if I recall correctly, um, by the time Black and White came out, um, Europe, the European law, not the Saros, but the Peggy system decided to change, um, the system to where, like, if you're going to include, um, in-game gambling or any mock gambling, Uh, I need to go Y X blue. Okay. So basically what it is that if you're gonna add gambling, um they're gonna um you need to raise the um rating to like teen. And it's something that Pokemon cannot afford to do considering that the game is you it's for everyone. Everyone plays Pokemon. You cannot just say, yeah, we're going to have to limit our audience to just teens. So they can't do that. So after, after black and white, uh, any mention of the game corner or, um, Game having uh, some sort of slot machine or all that stuff, they basically got removed. Take Omega Ruby out for Sapphire, they removed the game corner. They still give you the prize for um, what you would have gotten in the game corner, which is the Trickle Doll, 
Torchic Doll and the Mudkip Doll. But honestly, these things kind of... They hide good TMs from... In these casinos games. Now, the question I want to know is why... These have to be rated, like, higher for in-game gambling with fake money while games like uh, NBA 2K games allow um, loot boxes and they can get away with a, um... Oh, there's a shiny Kaflary! Ah, yes! Shiny Clefairy, we get a bonus time! Here he goes! Follow what the Clefairy does! Then you get more money! So continue with the replay and you get more money! Oh, what was he talking about again? Gambling? Oh yeah! 2K games and 2K can go suck it. Ah. Because I do not understand why they why they had to rate uh, fake gambling higher while um, real gambling is okay for children to use. You're talking to a guy that raised it, that raised uh, kids throughout his whole life since as a kid himself. So I'm kind of like a semi parent. So I understand. So I, I, I worried a lot about such things. Why? Why is it? Is it 2K paying you? I think the come the head of the US, the ESRB is works for uh, 2K. Don't know, but eh, is what it is. We gotta stop loot boxes once and for all. Rawr. Even I still play for Final Fantasy Heroes. Again! Again! Ah, uh, eight. That's okay. That's okay. If you get more than, t if you get ten, hold up. Let me see if I got my facts straight. Okay, so I kind of screwed up. Like sometimes um, a red moon will appear, so that means that uh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have followed the Clefairy direction. Um, I should have. Um, well, yeah. I shouldn't have not played all this stuff, but anyways, oh, that was very lucky that that I got freaking just shiny very random from get go replay. I see why gambling is too much an ad addict. Pikachu. I spent a lot of time just goofing around in <laughs> with the Clefairy. So here I'm guaranteed a free play because it's a great ball. Random. If it's a Pokeball, I'm guaranteed the Pokeball thing with Jiggy. If it's a Premier Ball, it's gonna be random. Like the replay there. If it's Ultra Bomb, I'm guaranteed. Three Pikachu's, and if it's a Safari zone, and Safari, I'm guarantee a, a Moonstone, something like that. If I get the whole game correct, but again, this is still just a game of chance. I'm, they're not gonna win too much. You probably need to dump so much money just to get that many coins. Okay, we should head, head out. So I made it to 8 consecutive wins. So basically here, you got like, I got 18, 24 coins. You need 10, you need to sacrifice 10,000 pocket coins just for 500 coins. And that, you're going to need a lot of money if you want to get some of the good prizes here. I'll show you the good prizes. So look, look at the prizes. These are just 1,000, the one I have. S skill scarf, the, the, the scarfy skills. Skill Scarf, it raises normal type moves. Um, wide Lens, it increases the accuracy. 
Zoom lens also boosts accuracy. What's the difference between zoom and lens UX? Well, I am glad you asked. It increases by 10 per, by 10 percent, while zoom increased by 20 percent. Huh? I mean, if we, if we need if you need it for like something like thunder or something. Like the one in KO move, I guess that would help. The zoom lens, white lens, or something. I guess if you want to go into a tournament that has the rule of don't use two items of the same type, then that would work. <laughs> Metronome is strengthened the powers of moves if you continue using it over and over and over again. And here are the good items. TM90, Substitute. TM58, Endure. Uh, substitute is you you sacrifice a quarter of your life and you send out substitution with that many life. Endure, make sure that you leave with one just one HP left. TM35, Sword Dance, increases your attack power by two levels. Double Team is 32. I don't need to explain what Double Team is. Increase your evasiveness. TM44, Rest. You sleep and you heal all of your status and all your HP. TM89, a very good one, U-turn. You basically attack and return back to the Pokeball and switch out. TM10 is Hidden Power. I just explained this a couple moments ago. TM27, Return. The more your Pokemon likes you, the stronger this is. TM21, Frustration. The more your Pokemon hates you, the stronger it gets. Now here comes the big one. Which is 10,000 coins, which I barely just hit the 10th, almost two, almost one fifth of what I need. TM35, Flamethrower. TM24, Thunderbolt. TM13, Ice Beam. TM29, Psychic. TM37, Gyro Bolt. And TM68, Giga Impact. And Giga Impact is basically the physical version of. Hyper Beam because now we got split and special because the split and special thing that you can split. Yeah, we need a um, sp like a special split. We need a physical uh, thing that you can for uh, Hyper Beam because Hyper Beam is no longer cut into one. Eight nine zero one two. Ah, I guess we could just increase. Everybody doesn't. Three, two. I guess they're behind you. There's nothing. Now I'm gonna jack up all your money. By all means, I'm pretty sure like some of the items that you see in the game corner can be found somewhere in the wild. But here's the thing, the TMs here, I'm not sure about the 8th generation because I haven't yet to play Pokemon Shield, but um, in at least until generation 5, all teams are considered one use only. So you gotta be careful where who you wanna which TM you want to use on which Pokemon. Then of course if you know the cloning glitch in like generation. I'm not sure if there's a cloning glitch here, but if there is, I'm probably gonna take advantage of it to uh, get some good TMs out of it instead of spending all my time into the game corner or all of my money just to gain one TM. Let down your guard your own risk, my man. But yeah. But we'll see. But yeah, it, it's like, you got the strongest move, but you gotta play some gambling games in order to get more. More of that powerful flamethrower, thunderbolt, ice beam, sidekick, and all that stuff. You wanna know why they gave you blizzard and thunder and all those moves in the department store? It's because they have low accuracy. Your chances of hitting is gonna be low. Okay, so here. 
Maniac Tunnel. We found TM28 Dig. Needle. Now, originally this would not be a whole cave by itself. There will be some guys still digging, but because I got all of the unknowns already caught, 26 of them, not 28 yet. Yeah, this is why the cave is so long. That's why I was a little bit obsessed with uh, digging through this. Or looking for my... Um, looking for every single letter of the unknowns. So we can get this unlocked. And get the last two unknowns. What do you say, my brother? Oh, my diggy punching me through this weird place. I said you could thank me for being a ruined maniac. Yeah, thank you. And welcome back. We're back to Silicon Ruins. Question and exclamation point. Hey, look, we finally got up here. And we found a rare candy. Huzzah. We need a rare candy. So right here is we're going to find the last two of the um, unknowns. Exclamation mark. I do hope Shockwave is not that powerful. I'm gonna be mad if it is. Okay. That's good enough for me. Okay, so it must be a flying type. Or another grass. I I'm not sure. Just capture this for me. So we can finally put this whole unknown nightmare to rest. <sighs> okay, already cut all to all of them. Huzzah. Actually, I forgot to give the other one a nickname, but whatever. I'll probably give it the na a nickname later on. Alright, let's get out of here. Hippopotas! Ah! Why must you be a grass type? Then again, uh, it's gonna hurt a lot more. Let's just get see if I can get best equipped to her. hit you right now. Hippopotatoes. I remember the enemy they were trying to figure out. How do you pronounce hippopotas? Hippopotamus. No, it's hippopotas. But biting. You know, I do want to use Hippopotas one of these days. This day is not one of those days. Especially since considering Hippopotas has the freaking um, Sandstream ability. And that's not gonna fly well. Ah. Actually, Hippopotas is one of the few Pokemon that has their genders drastically changed depending on if it's a male or a female. Like, the one you see is the male. The female will have the color inverted. Where the uh, tan will be the dark, will be the brown, and the brown will be tan. It, it's pretty cool. You should see it one of these days. I'll see if I can show it. Uh, it shut his nostril tight when traveled through the sand as he walked. The from colonies of round 10. Alright, let's get out of here. I think that's all the Pokemon in this ruined maniac place. Anyways, I was saying before I got interrupted by that stir. 
uh, there's at least three Pokemons that I that is new here. And we just see if we can find them. Like this one. Rhyhorn! Favorites by everybody. Um Unfortunately I do not have any moves. Rub Rotom does not have any move that will either affect it, which is shockwave, or kill it in one go, which is sleep storm. So, when all else fails, let's send good old float so to bite it. Ah, yeah. Why were you with the, 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 the crunch? Ooh, this is Timmy Navy. Anyways, I was able to buy some Pokeballs or Ultra Balls. Click. Congratulations! Rayhorn has been caught! <laughs> Let's check out what the Pokedex has to say about Rayhorn. His powerful tackles can destroy anything, however, it is too slow with it to help people work. Damn. They call you stupid. I, I, I think I really should uh, switch out for Vesper Queen. So Vesper Queen can get some experience points. I. What's that? You say the Pokedex authentic one, huh? It looks like I want it too. Give me. Your Pokedex. Now it's mine now. Scorupy. There's another Pokemon that we didn't catch. It's the evolved form of Geodude. As Rock Smash. This is gonna be a tricky Pokemon to catch because Well there's that. But have no fear. There's a 25% chance of a Graveler appearing, like right now. Let's see if Matchamp cannot. Um. You know. Not killed it in one go. There you go, see? Okay. As, as I was saying, um. Graveler, just like in the later stage of the Geo Dudes, we went to that one cave. Um, okay, well, if you have Ultra Ball, then it should be easier as soon as you whittle down a little bit. But it's hard because of the fact that by this time, Graveler know how to explode with self destruction, so there's that. It rolls on a mountain pad to move. Once it builds momentum, no Pokemon can stop without difficulties. Curse you. How is it that only Geodudes can know how to float, but not you guys? Kinda wanna know? This is something I question every day. There's one other Pokemon I'm missing, but he will not be appear- he's- well, he will appear. It's just that at night time, he has a 25% chance of appearing now. It says I'm playing this at night time. It should appear sooner. Oh, there's something here. We just cannot do it until either we finish the main game we're playing Diamond Pearl or later, later on to later on throughout the story. And there's the other guy. This is only exclusive plant some because you know Houndour. Um, well, for anyone that does not know about uh, Diamond Pearl, um. Because this take place like towards where the the snowy area part of Japan. No, you jerk! I. Dang it! Give me this item, red chart. Always need all these charts. You'll see later on why. As soon we probably might get there. Not this episode, but next episode. Look at all these rock Pokemon that I could actually defeat and gain more experience points, but I can't because I'm looking for that freaking Hound Hour. Okay, 
Let's try this again. For anyone that does not know about Diamond Pearl, um, when Planet King, they expand the Pokedex a little bit more to add it. Okay, that didn't take too long. Anyways, I was saying, they expanded the Pokedex a little bit more. Be why? Because, well, not all the new Pokemon was in the Sinnoh deck, so they had to put all the new Pokemon. And two, believe it or not, there was not a lot of Fire Pokemon to begin with in this game. There was like, um, if I'm correct, it was just uh, the Chimchar family, Ponyta, and heat tread and you can even get heat tread until the end of after the you finish the story mode of this game so yeah unless you start with chimchar and, and um, unless that unless you start with chimchar or if you don't mind using ponyta you have no fire type pokemon you just have to deal with fire type fire moves in which that case um <laughs> Yeah, when Planet King, they had to actually put in the actual new Pokemons that appeared here. Or well, the evolution, the new evolution, and some old Pokemons because, well, we don't have any fire type here. It's more, it's more about to hunt the packs and usually vary a cry for communicating with others. Okay, freaking heck. Now, let's me go and beat up other trainers. I'm sick of you, you freaking Houndour. I know it's you keep pulling on me. Die! If he doesn't want me to do any animal cruelty, he shouldn't be cruel with me in the first place. You know, I think there's a hidden item here. A razor fang, yes! Alright, not to get that item. Big Root. Big Root? What exactly Big Root is? Derek? Okay, now I know, I know, now I know. But, uh, what Big Root does is increases uh, absorption moves. Like, for example, Absorb, Giga Drain, Mega Drain, Leash Life, especially other moves like Leash Seed. That would be really, really useful. Um,. If my freaking Torterra knows how to use Leech Seed, well, he had a chance to learn about Leech Seed, but unfortunately, uh, Cut stands in the way between me and Awesomeness. No, Jolteon, I don't think you'll kill my float so like that. But you'll feel the pain of Aqua Jet. Thank you and good night. Oh, that's good. Now I'm getting agilities down. Vaporeon. Hmm. You know what? I'll let the tarot show of Vaporeon how a good tank does it. Well, a handicapped tank at the moment. But uh, tank, nevertheless. I was, I'm pretty sure Collector has a bunch of monies and Tochera's ho currently holding the amulet coin, so if you don't know now what amulet coin does, it doubles the money you win in battle. Flareon! Oh, poor baby. It is still... Is it still in low tier hell? Well, I'm trying to find a way to get Flareon out of low tier hell. There's a way. We'll find a way to make Flareon useful. A dragon dancing Flareon, now that's awesome. A dragon dancing Flareon that knows Flare Blitz? That would be. Panic everywhere. 
All right, leg front, leg front, leg up front in the front. Giraffe! I don't know the new Pokemon we have not meet, met. We met in a while. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Mm, mm, yes, yes, good, good. Let's, um, uh, quite a job. I'm pretty sure he's a psychic type. Hopefully not a normal psychic type. Okay, good, 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 good. We'll do Rock Snatch and then we'll... He should be good for a capture. I think that's the only new Pokemon we can find here for now. <laughs> oh, my poor heart can't handle. The daughter almost gonna be killed off. Giraffini, Giraffe Grieg. Jarfini. Jaraf. Jarafagi. Jarafarig. The head of the tail contains small brain can instinctively fight back even when facing backwards. So don't touch the head the tail. Tails are bad. Don't touch the tail. There's an item here, and I wanna get it. An ultra ball. Good, I lost an ultra ball. Speaking of ultra balls, I kinda uh I do need to, um, do, 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 do. give me the ultra ball, let's put it here, give me the great ball, let's put it here, heal ball, net ball, I think you guys are all good, okay, good. Now, let's continue on. Cameras! You know, since people are lying and ambush through here. It was me and from the red girders that I like reach. Okay, that's nice to know. Well, we got things here. We're gonna join my sweet crew somewhere. The hotel people will be happy. With. I'm sure I had it when I left the reception. Okay, so let's find it. You cannot even go here because blackout. There's no stop. Yes, you. City Shore City, which is down this road, has a major blackout. Crews are working on restoring the power now, but the road's closed now. We just gotta find it. Here is actually a good place to train. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot train right now because the place is closed. Visit when we open. They're only open during the daytime and afternoon time. So usually the usually um the training is oh we find the sweet key key. It is really easy. It's right there. Um. It's open during the daytime, and all the battles are going to be double battles, so make sure you know how to do some double battles. I got your sweet coon. Find out that sweet thank you. Uh, aren't you supposed to give me something? A white flute. What does a white flute do? Oh, yeah, those flutes if you want to get some, those flutes are only holding exclusive, so yeah. Um, let's see what else can we get here. Let's see, the salty thing and see my tears are hard day at work. What is this? PP up. I'll take them. What is this to you? I'm the game director. Oh, you're working for another pocket. I hope you come to show me your pocket when you fill up more. Okay, so this is for Game Freak place. Oh, mostly all the game has a Game Freak director or something like that. Somewhere around here. And that is the location. TM92? Trick Room! When I mess with the slow gets ahead. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good for something. And then my guitar turned on the music book like a channel whenever go to the I've heard things like the Pokemon Center. You guys in your eyes, I read your fortune. The magical encounter is in the wind, I cannot tell whether a Pokemon or a trainer. That's kind of vague. You're a scam as a psychic. As a fortune teller, my man. Uh 
The time that gets together from his yard of Tin Town Jewelry, the rainbow color Pokemon we've seen during my lifetime. Okay, um. I swore he tells you more and more stuff. Ah, uh, we're getting out of here. Hi. Oh, thank you! I kinda need to. <laughs> the restoration. Thank you very much. I don't like the Pokemon will see me away for honeymoon here. Hey, I think I could be that knight if you want me to be. A yellow chart! Another chart that is gonna be super useful! Man, we got all these tubers. These V tubers waiting to attack me. Huh, there's none like the present, but to attack these V tubers. Attack! Get rid of these virtual tubers! There's an item here. Heart scale! Ah, uh, yes, you can never have too many heart skills. How many heart skills am I at right now? Mm. Eight. Oh boy. Let's go. There's some fishermen's here. Oh my gosh, there's a couple of stuff here. Pearl. Neat. There's also something around here too. Heart scale. Yes. Either way, let me get rid of these two fishermen's. Okay, well, gee, I don't have to battle. Footman! Because I know him. Crazy me, I need to only see if we're in any more dust. So we all your skip of my claim, then let's see the first friend right here. I'll tell him how it feels about you. Look, it's a remarkable human and trainer. Dad can always perform my bed. Any floats up can possibly I can show you my partner. Well, we try to can see one point eyes envious <laughs> us enviously. And uh, this is what your first thing is. I'm gonna say your first in your chair closed one. This is for you. Yay! No, I already got float so Let's see Torterra. I think it's judged by friendship. Let's see what all of my Pokemon thinks about me. I think the only one that is not gonna have good thoughts is my Rotom. But that's because you're still kind of new to me. <clears throat> Lucas is a remarkable human in trainer. Now I can always perform the best any Tartaria possibly can. I attribute this entirely to my partner Lucas. When we travel, I can see why a Pokemon denies us even to sleep. That's what Tartaria speaks like. Alright, my champ is kind of right now not that we're not too buddy buddy because I had to trade her in order to get her to evolve. But I'm pretty sure it would have been BFF if if I didn't trade her. But I kind of had to trade her to make her the best she can do. A Vespa Queen is. So it shows Bond. Oh, <laughs> alright. Mr. <laughs> Queen cannot, doesn't have footprint. <laughs> so there's no way you could tell what she's feeling. But this is what you think, so here's a ribbon for you. Maybe Rotom, can I give you a footprint? Use every bit of a power property. It's a shame that Lucas is only human. And there we go. Okay. It's a shame that Lucas is just humans or else it would have been the bestest of friends. <laughs> okay. Let's go on. Because I feel like I've done nothing this episode. I've already been recording for an hour and 30 minutes. And I need a story plot quota before the end of this 
did recording. Because think about it, what have we been doing all day? We've been gambling. We've been searching, well, hunting Pokemons actually. I guess, um, looking for Pokemon to actually count for something. But what would I name this title? The Lost Key? Now nah, we need some plot elements. The annoying Handauer. Man, the the possibility of trying to figure out. Um, you just climb. That's all you have to do. Are you that weak? You can't climb rocks. <gasps> Berries. Oh look, is that shallows that, um, the other color shallows that we have not caught yet. I'm catching it. Actually, there is another Pokemon that can be caught here, but it's only early in the mornings in the afternoon, and that's a Chetot. Oh yeah, and a Wingle too. I I totally forgot Wingo did be caught here too. But, um, let's worry about capturing um, this first. Alright, we're here! What do you have to say? And we don't really seem to be enjoying punishment by the people. Do do do. Yeah. Battle Frontier? No? I guess you're some kind of out of loop. I hear it's a fun place for say we're bad considering the rules. Okay. I don't know what that is, but I think I shall enjoy myself in this Battle Frontier thing with Jiggy. Let me save first. What's this? First time I had to wait till then, I'm gonna have to ban you. Oh man, I wish I could do something involved with a lot of explosive. I'm just gonna be a smashing job for Team Galactic. Berries! Listen to here. A zing! I'll take it. A zing, a zing, a zing, a zing, a zing. Oh, this place is always ringing. Let's not do that here. Oof. <laughs> it rains a lot. You give me a hard skill for running here. Okay. Pokemon Move Man, I prefer Move Torture. Yep, this is where it just can teach you some Move Torture. Teach me! Teach her! And you can see Sweet Gus sent Gus. Oh, well, these two were originally for Combi. But look at everything she can now learn Poison Sting, Fuse Ray, Fury Cutter. Def Fury Cutter is actually pretty good when I if I get that um, Zoom Lens. That's really good. Defense Order, Race Defense, and Special Defense. Fury Swipe. There's the Power Gem that I missed. Unfortunately, I cannot get rid of my freaking defog just yet. It has to be in another city where I could forget moves, if I'm correct. Let's see what the try I can do. Woodhama! Ooh, serious damage. Ooh. I could learn Lishi too. But look at it! A hundred and percent accuracy! 120 power damage. Think about this: 55 physical attack with a 95% chance of hitting, or 100% chance with 1,200. Forget about the whole recoil damage. Give me wood hammer. Bye, Razor Leaf. You were good while it lasted. It is really sometimes good to go back and see what else your Pokemon can learn. Cause look at this Ice Fang. We now have a way to deal with. Ah, uh, uh, let's get rid of Pursuit. Well, make sure that you're um very well diverse in the ways of biting people. No Ice Punch would have been good. Metal Punch. Actually, he will definitely be learning Ice Punch. 
like <sighs> very well so I could have just start over and all the stuff let's see what's going on here As always do you catch five or more Pokemon once so far you can do that I'll give you a Pokemon matchmaker checker hmm so this March game are oh, you can teach for 500? Sure, that would be 500, please. Here's your survival balls. So then enjoy yourself. Off to the wireless wilderness you go. Ugh, I'm not too much of a fan of the Great Marsh. I mean, uh, because they're gonna flee soon. That's uh find them right now. Oh yeah, there's items. I guess we could call it the Great March episode. See, that's the problem with this Great March. You just fall down. And the thing is that you cannot um, a beat dude. That's gonna get super annoying. A Tangela! Alright. Okay, um. Let's see. If I am correct here. Uh, give me some bait! them get those out of this is a catching Pokemon episode so there yeah. whatever the blue ones surrounding this body are covered in a growth of fine hair is known to be ticklish very ticklish we need to get five Pokemons in order to get that stupid app. Holy snaps. Did I say collect five Pokemon? I, um... Gonna have to start all over again because I... Taught my... Float so how to use Ice Fang when I can clearly just wait for a bit so it could know how to do freaking... Oh, I got seven, it doesn't matter. So I can learn Ice Punch instead, which is better, and it does more damage. Whoopa! Everybody's favorite. Whoopa! Damn it! You're mine. I wonder how they will implement this in the remake. While walking on land, it covers his body with a poisonous film that keeps his skin from dehydrating. Okay. Actually, there's a cute moment in New Pokemon Snap where the Wooper and the Quanks are just had like a cute father son moment. It's so uh, wholesome, it's so adorable. Yeah, mom! That is a rare Pokemon if I ever see one myself. I better go capture it. I better not leave, it has less than 50 chance of bar. Oh, there it goes. I know Dam is in this area. Oh yeah, I should explain how this great marsh works. Um Noctowl. Oh I should, I was gonna draw mud ball at his face, but eh, that works too. Um mud ball. Why well, am I talking about Mudball? The marsh top is actually separated by six 
separate areas. And each Pokemon can be found in one of these areas. So are items that you can find. So it's... I'm not sure. I think each Pokemon be in which... In which area is going to be random every day. So they're not going to just stay in one place every day all the time. At least I don't... From my experience. Come on. As you see right now, right now I'm still in area... Well, according to my cheat sheet, this is still area 5. Maybe I should draw a mud ball at you, Octal, and if I see you again. Oh, but I cannot go through here unless if I have Surf. Okay, so I do need to take the train station. Regardless, it's you! Eat mud! Eat Pokeball! Well, not literally eat it, there's... A cow of Pokemon eating Pokeballs and does not capture it anyways. See, this is annoying about the safaris is that you only have these safari balls and you cannot use any other Pokeballs to help with your cash and you cannot use your Pokemon to uh, help out lower give you more chance to capture these Pokemons but that's why people say the second chain is this because the natural bug contest allows you to weaken the Pokemon and you can capture it, but then you get your but the only problem is that uh, you have to uh, choose which mon you want to keep for yourself. You cannot just keep every single Pokemon that you capture in the natural park. Uh, that is for another time. I'm not sure if I showed it in my Crystal Let's Play, but well, I don't remember. The eyes are specifically developed to enable to see clearly even in murky darkness and minimal light. We're gonna get that Yama. A Quagsire! Oh, brother! I cannot wait to get a Quagsire on my team. And why me on my team? I mean, when I play Pokemon. Go silver crystal or ruby or gold or so silver when I get a chance. Quagsire, you freaking idiot. Just get inside a Pokeball. Now! Uh, you can tell that this is driving me crazy. Uh, that's four! Has an easygoing nature, it doesn't carry bumps his head on bolts and boulders while swimming. As soon as I capture one more Pokemon, then yeah, we're leaving here. We'll check out the march some other time. Uh... Yeah, mom! Eat mud! You 47.1% chance of Pokemon that get a chance to escape, you freaking heck. Well, no. I, I was not planning to use a Yama. I mean... Unfortunately, I already used, I am using a Yama in another Pokemon game, and that is another Pokemon Planet game where I actually start off with a Piplup. Mm. Oh, why you do this to me? Why you do this to me? Oh, it's a Krog Kunk. There's another rare Pokemon that is. Well, actually, in Platinum, it's pretty easy to find Krog Kunk. I was actually planning to use a Krogunk for my other team, and then I figured out, hey, 
You know, I got two Dawn Stone. I might as well use the Gallade. Which is why I'm not using the Gallade in this game. Holy snap, we caught a Krogunk. Oh my gosh. The Yama is still hard to find. It really fights fairly, but the, but that is strictly to ensure survival. It is popular as a mascot. Sure it does. Okay, Yama, eat mud. Let's watch it carefully! Go! Get it! Now's your chance! That was my chance. Here's my other opportunity! That wasn't a good opportunity right there. Mm. Throw a Pokeball and show me some love, baby! Show me another love, baby! It worked! I'm out of here! Ah, uh, game, give me the Pokedex. We're out of here. We're ending the video in a bit. He can hoover in one spot by flipping his wing in high speed. It flit, flits around the guard to guard his territory. Okay, I'm done here. I'm saving it. I'm keeping my floats a little bit. Supposing I did read out that you have to, there is a time limit. I, I don't think I read that correctly. You catch a star at least five? Yep, uh, yep. Yeah, no, no, no. All right, is that something here? You got a Pokotech. Poke poke oh, I need to go back and get a new Poketech. Pokech. Are we fitting of each other? Okay, cool. Thank you. Yes, when you enter there, you start with Dirty Sword, that's the only kind of ball you can land on somewhere, you know, when you run or when you walk 500 steps. Yep, there he is. There's the time limit. Anyways, thank you for joining me. Um, If you enjoyed this video, please like and consider subscribing for more content. Until then, I shall see you guys next time. Goodbye.